for something like, oh, I had it for six months and one of the things broke. If I had this joint for six months and then one other thing broke, I'm buying a new one because I had it for six months and I paid $17. So to me, that was worth the $17 and I got good use out of it. You know what I mean? Hi guys, welcome to the vlog and welcome to my kitchen. So just now, I tried starting my vlog and my camera was bugging out. Normally, even though I delete everything off of my memory card, I still have to go in on the camera and format the memory card and I didn't do that. So a zero kept coming up on there and I didn't know what was coming up and this whole time it was telling me that I have no memory, not because the memory card is full but because... It appears full inside of the camera. Anyways, I figured it out quick, fast, and in a hurry and fixed that. So now we're just inside of the kitchen trying to bust it down, to be honest. So here's what I have going on. I have some shrimp, nice and seasoned. I have some tilapia over here, nice and seasoned also. So, so far, I think I'm going to be making shrimp and tilapia. But I also want to make some chicken. I feel like the tilapia... We're going to eat that tonight, and then there's just going to be the shrimp. I want to eat shrimp two days, not, no. I don't know what I'm doing yet, obviously, so we'll see. Hi guys, it is hours later. I, um, <coughs> meal prepped. My throat is still bugging, but, um, I got some sepisol. Um, when my husband was coming home from work, he also got me some Ferrero Rocher, and I love those. So he brought me those Cepasol and some Robitussin because it seems as if I'm really <clears throat> coming down with something. So because I'm about to go to my bed, I put a pack, one of the, this comes with two packs inside. So I put one of this inside of my pocketbook and... I'm gonna start diving in on the other one right now because I need to feel better quick. I took the Robitussin night and I feel like it makes me feel drowsy so I'm gonna go lay down. Maybe I'll fall asleep, I don't know, but I feel kinda tired and it's just nine o'clock, which is new for me. So I'll pick the vlog back up in the morning. Hi guys, so I just got home earlier and literally felt like eating a breakfast sandwich. So the other day, I <clears throat> went into the fridge and there were no eggs. Was that yesterday? Yeah. And I was so sad because there were no eggs and I wanted eggs for breakfast. So just now I made sure that when I was coming home, I stopped at the store and got some eggs. And so I ended up coming home and making an egg sandwich. And that was so good. Honestly, so, so good. So now <clears throat> my throat, boy, listen. I feel like I've been so good with the weather until, up until, like, this point. I have been on Cepasol all day, but the only time I really feel it like that is when I hold, like, when I tilt my head back a little bit and, like, swallow. It really just feels like a tennis ball is trying to pass through this side. <clears throat> so tragic, but I have some Robitussin hair. I think I'm going to take a little bit before I go shower. I'm in my robe right now because I was getting ready to go shower. So, I'm going to take some of the Robitussin and then I'm going to go shower and I'm pretty much going to lay down a little bit because it's 9.27 and I feel like it really starts kicking in really quickly because last night when I took it, I felt like within no time, I started feeling really sleepy. So, I'm going to make sure that this time when I take it, I'm done with everything that I have to do just in case I feel sleepy instantly or like... A half an hour later then I'm still good I need to go take my birth control before I fall asleep <clears throat> so I'm gonna do that pop in the shower and then um, drink the Robitussin and stuff and then just really relax in bed and continue watching some YouTube videos I literally probably only have like four of the little pills left inside of the thing so I feel like tomorrow when I'm I gotta leave out a little bit earlier so I can stop at like a Walgreens and get some more because I really really need those and today I was kind of coughing a little bit but once I started I only started coughing when like I hadn't taken one in a while so I think I'm gonna stay on them until my throat feels better because I honestly 
don't feel like I want to be sick right now. I mean, I don't feel like I want to be sick at any point in time at all. But now really isn't the time either. So that is the plan. It has been like a couple of days altogether. So I think I'll pick it back up in the morning. Because these vlogs I feel like are kind of um, <clears throat> similar, you know, because I don't really do much or, you know, so it's just an update over a couple of days on like what I'm doing and stuff like that so um yeah alright so I have some Excedrin and um they're migraine but I didn't realize that because they are migraine and apparently they're so strong I can only take like two within a 24 hour period until the other day I'm pretty sure I've taken more than two before but um this morning my friend was telling me that I should get so this is the one that I have. My friend was telling me that I should get the one with the green label, which is like the migraine um, extra, which is like the um, Excedrin um, extra strength. And I could take more than um, two within a 24 hour period. Cause you know, sometimes you take the painkillers and it don't really work when you take the first two. So I need to have other ones that I'm able, that works well and that I'm able to take more than two within 24 hours. So this morning I went through and made sure that I bought that on Amazon really, really quickly because I honestly just need it sometimes. I need to have something that I can be able to take more than two within 24 hours because sometimes, you know, you're in pain and you need it. So I bought some Excedrin. I bought some more automatic um, spray refill, the cashmere wood on Amazon. I haven't bought an Amazon in a hot minute too and I bought a... Um, <clears throat> suede protector for my Uggs, for my Ugg and for my, um, my Skechers boots because, you know, once it's snowing and stuff like that, when the snow settles on there, obviously it melts and then the next thing you know, the boots are wet and I really do not want them to be wet, so I made sure that I bought that, so I bought those three things on Amazon. One day, I think last week, I had spoken about the fact that I bought a mixer on Amazon and one of the things came broken. I can't remember if I showed you guys the one that was broken. So this one came broken as you guys can see. So I reached out to the company and you know I told them that one of them um, was broken and I really like it and I like it because that shit was $17 and I'm tired of mixing the thing with my hand. So, I really like it and, you know, I'd love if I could get a replacement. And they were like, yeah, sure, just send us a picture. And I took a picture and sent it to them. And they sent... The people... <laughs> These people, you guys, replaced the whole ass mixer. They sent a whole new mixer. And I was just like, you know... If they send one of the little things, then I'm fine. And if they send two, I'm fine too. But they sent the whole mixer. I absolutely love Amazon for things like this. <laughs> Mind you, that ottoman that I did not get, I'm still mad salty about it. But, you know, I love that when you buy something, if you don't get it, you know, somebody out there is willing to replace, replace it. And I feel like, too, the company saw where, you know, replacing an item for $17 was better than getting a bad review, which would potentially um, steer customers or steer potential customers away from buying their product, you know? Because if you leave a bad review, some people, if anybody is like me, I personally love reading reviews. If there are too many bad reviews, I'm not gonna buy it. Some people are really bugging and they'll leave like a bad review for something like, oh, I had it for six months and one of the things broke. If I had this joint for six months and then one other thing broke, I'm buying a new one. Because I had it for six months. And I paid $17. So to me, that was worth the $17. And I got good use out of it. You know what I mean? But if I just got it today and it broke, then obviously I'm going to complain about something like that. And the fact that they were willing to replace it is really just amazing customer service to me. And, you know, it's good. I'll leave a nice review and I'll make sure that people know that, listen, I got it and the thing was broken and they sent the whole mixer back, okay? They did not just replace the two little things, they sent the whole mixer. So I'm really grateful for that. I, so I guess I have it for when that one breaks down. Is that going to be anytime soon? I doubt it because I really, really like it and I think it's pretty sturdy. For $17? God damn it. And um, yeah, so I'm very happy about that. I have my freaking thing here that I said I was going to take. Mm. 
Mm. It is such a strong taste. Jesus. I don't like these things. I prefer to take painkillers or like pills any day over drinking something because I don't like when like there's a bad taste in my mouth or anything like that. But listen, I need this coughing to go away because I look at people crazy when they're coughing, especially if they are coughing and like not covering or listen, I don't want what you have. So I don't want to be that person that somebody else is looking at crazy. Anyways, I'm about to go shower and go lay down and wait for this to kick in. Mm -hmm.